guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at the Orly Deep Wonder Collection for 2018. There are six new polishes and they are all stunning, gorgeous polishes, you guys. I purchased them at transdesign.com. That link will also be in the description bar to just give you a quick click to get to the website. It is not an affiliate link. So we're going to go ahead and do live application of all six new shades from Orly. On my channel, I do live application of pretty much every nail polish collection I can get my hands on so that it gives you a reference point where you can search a collection, find it on my channel, see how something's going to swatch. So it gives you kind of an idea of what a typical experience with this nail polish will be before you purchase. So let's go ahead and get going. I'm going to go in alphabetical order. So we're going to go ahead and start with the metallic crimson shade in the collection. I'm so happy to be able to recommend this entire collection to you. I love their fall collection. I love this holiday collection as well. And this metallic crimson is really something so beautiful and fun. It's not ultra bright holiday red metallic. It's definitely softer and makes like a nice transition from fall to winter. It is called Cosmic Crimson. Almost everything in this collection, depending on your application, could probably get away with just one coat. I'm going to show you two of everything today just to make sure I'm getting everything absolutely opaque. This one was totally a surprise love for me out of the collection. I really didn't know that I'd love a kind of soft metallic red so much. It's gorgeous. So this first one is Cosmic Crimson and I did two coats. The next polish in the collection is this megawatt beautiful pink metallic. This is more of like a foily metallic where you can see each of the little particles in here. This one's called Lucid Dream and I love it. It's not really a rose copper or a rose gold because you're not getting the warm tones of a copper or a gold, you're mostly seeing the silver metallic behind there. So it's like they took a silver metallic polish and they just added some red and it softly made this beautiful pink. It's so beautiful, you guys. I love it. It's very understated while being very bright at the same time. So this is Lucid Dream and I did two coats. The next shade in the collection is Mystic Maven and this is a purple, but it's also like a rose mauve. It's similar to the polish in the Essie collection that I called a purpley rose mauve, but this is even darker. It's called Mystic Maven and I'm just loving this shade. It's such a fun shade of purple because it's not just straight up purple or plum or indigo. It's got all of these beautiful pinky mauve vibes and it's so gorgeous. So this swatches super nicely. This has more of a typical cream formula whereas when we come up to another cream in the collection it's moving towards like a cream or crelly. So you can almost get this opaque at one coat. I'm going to show you two but depending on your application you could be out the door in one coat which is awesome. Love the color, love the formula, so beautiful. The next polish in the collection is a metallic indigo. This has a very similar formula to the pink. So it, you're seeing a lot of silver in there, so it's probably starting out as a silver polish, a silver metallic, and then they added a bunch of dark blue indigo. This is called Nebula. This is gorgeous on the nail. Again, this swatches so well. You basically have one coat coverage. You could go for two if you want to, as I'm doing here, just to make sure you cover all your bases, but you really are getting pretty great opacity at just one coat. And of course, because this is a shade of purple, I'm absolutely in love with it. The two purples in this collection go in totally opposite directions. It's so beautiful. So this is Nebula and another total home run. The next polish in the collection is probably the standout. While I really liked everything in here, this one has iridescent shifty properties in it, making it pretty different for a mainstream brand. I really like that mainstream is going in this direction. So this is a black base and it's filled with a green to blue to purple iridescent shifty shimmer in there. In the bottle you can see that shift really really well especially on my Instagram stories when I was unboxing these with you guys. You could really see the shift. Unfortunately it doesn't show up quite as much on the nail. That's because in the bottle you're seeing it without having to see it through all the black base. You're just kind of seeing what's shining against for you on the edges of the bottle. So it shows off the shift really really well. On your nail unfortunately you're just going to see just the edges of some blue and purple on the nail. You're mostly getting a very strong gorgeous green kind of a green to teal look. I'm not disappointed in this polish for the fact that it doesn't shift as well as it does in the bottle because I feel like it's a great step in the right direction from a mainstream brand. They're playing around with some more complex components that are going to give you a more interesting look on the nail. The reason I think that this 
doesn't shift quite as well is because they wanted to make sure that this got opaque on its own. There's so much black in this face. The black and the thick opacity of the polish has a beautiful two coat finish kind of hides that shimmer. The Shifty Aurora Shimmer, which is I think what's in here, is very delicate and unfortunately it kind of gets covered up by a lot of dark pigment. So, long story short, I like this polish a lot. I do have other things in my collection from any brands that give me a much greater Shifty pigment payoff. But if mainstream is all that is in your budget for nail polish purchasing, this is really fun. If you haven't ever tried a shifty iridescent polish before, did I even tell you this polish is called retrograde? I know I had a long explanation for that, but I feel like there could be the tendency to be really let down by the shade because you see so much purple in the bottle that just doesn't translate to the nail. And so I just wanted to explain to you, I think the reason for that. And I'm really happy that Orly did a polish like this and I hope that they try more things like this in the future and maybe just don't do quite as much opacity or the other option is you just have to add a lot more of that shimmer pigment. So anyway, I should do two coats of retrograde. The last polish in the collection is this soft neutral red. This is really, really pretty. I'm calling it a neutral red because it's definitely very earthy. It's got some brown tones in there and it's softened down probably with some white and then adding the red back in and that softens something out. This is called Wild Wonder and this is the one that has the more Krelly-ish formula. It's not super opaque at one coat. It doesn't really have that um, thicker pigmented formula. It has a little bit of space to breathe. It has a little bit more of a bouncy quality. It's just as equally beautiful as the polishes that got more opaque faster. I do not mind a two or three coat polish. So I thought this was really beautiful. It's called Wild Wonder and I was super happy with everything in this collection, you guys. I thought that they did a great job. They give us a mix of metallics, we have lustry shimmers, we have some cream polishes, and another hit from Orly. So I'm so happy to recommend the entire collection to you. Again, I got it at transdesign.com. You'll find the link in the description bar if you would like a quick, easy way to get to the website. So um, if you were here to check out these polishes before you purchase them, happy shopping. If you were just here to hang out with me, I'm so glad that you came to hang out. I'll see you back for the next video very soon. Take care. Bye.